of actually growing. And as you can see, that is explaining most of the growth. The second one is MA. You want to grow? Buy a company, do it smartly, obviously, make sure you integrate well. But that's another very good way to actually say, I need scale, I need growth. Let me do this through MA. What you should not do, and this is the last one of this, and this is definitely also my experience, both at CSR and elsewhere. Don't go for market share. Don't try to compete with the guy that's already winning on price and say, I'll beat you, I'll be better. I'll regain market share. We'll do this faster, quicker, lower cost. Because the only thing that will happen is as you gain market share, you need to drop your price. Your competition will drop price to, to protect their market share. And all you gain is uh, 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 so if you sell more products, but your revenue drops and nothing happens, yeah, your gross margin goes down. Another very interesting lesson. So you want to grow, you want to be successful. The last thing you want to do is to take on the big guys that already have a leading position and say, I'm going to out-execute you because it simply doesn't work. So that is uh, some remarks and some observations on the semiconductor industry. Needless to say, this is a tough business. That's why we all like it so much. We're tough people. Um, and the final slide to, to, to illustrate how tough this is, I said to innovate or to disappear, because of all these forces at work, because the massive investment that you need to make, because the intense competition, because if you invest $150 million in a product and you get it wrong, you lose a lot of money. You look at the top 10 semiconductor companies over time, over the past 5, 50, 60 years, and you see how difficult it is to be a top 10 semiconductor company where you have the scale and you supposedly have the portfolio momentum and it's all working for you and stay there. There's actually one company that's done it. And that's TI. They have been consistently number one in the top ten for all this time. Nobody else. The flip side is if you now look at the top ten in this decade, this is already a little bit dated. We're well ahead in the next one. And you can already see some people dropping out. Right? And you go back, you say the, 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 the decade before, or half were not even existing. And I can, I can promise you 
10 years from now, this list again will be totally different. Which means, it's the flip side of all of this, you say, like, it's brutal business, there's some real tricky decisions to make here. But the flip side is you can win, even if you come in late, because this, these dynamics have always been here. If you play your cards right, if you do well, you can actually become a, number, a top 10 player. Which leads me to the the following. So, okay, great. So, life is tough. And we have some, we, we've talked a little bit about the dynamics of the semiconductor industry. So, what's been CSR's answer to this? How do you, as a fabulous semiconductor company of around $800 million when I joined in 2007. How do you survive this onslaught of innovation, ever-increasing capital needed, running down the process nodes, up against competition like Qualcomm and Broadcom and all these guys. What do you do? And this has been CSR's answer and our strategic objectives. And again, this is not a CSR story, but I do believe there is some lessons here that are applicable to other companies but also applicable to, to uh, a country like India if you, you know, want to get into this, into this game. And we have created, we have, we have told, uh, we have a strategy where we talk about three different things we need to satisfy before we think we invest. And I'll link them back, I'll try to link them back to the first part of the presentation. The first point is we want to have a so-called platform. And that's probably the most important. What is a platform? A platform is a, a piece of silicon and software, a system or a subsystem that help determine in a material way how the product behaves to the end consumer. In other words, in our case, and I'll talk uh, one more slide on that, we are very strong in a market called voice and music. So a market for, for wireless headsets. That is because the wireless headset and he has a very good Bluetooth link, but that's not all we sell. Actually, the Bluetooth link is probably the least important. We're selling everything that you need to create a very high-end, extremely rich, audio experience and that's integrated in one chip so if you have a platform and you go to say beats by dr dre which is a valued customer of csr and i know you, 
these guys are these trendy big red headsets that you buy for two and a fifty dollars in the Apple store. The discussion is not about price. The discussion is about how can we make this high end headset sound even better. That's what they want. And when that's all said and done, then at the end we talk, of course, we talk about the price. But it is much more sustainable and easier to defend yourself against a low-cost competitor if you say, look, you can obviously buy, buy this silicon and it's going to cost you less. But you're now tampering with the quality of your $250 end product. You're not going to do that. So the first thing is you want to have a platform. You don't want to be selling a Bluetooth component on a, in a smartphone because you have no differentiators. You're competing with RDA and they're much cheaper than, 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 than you are. The second point to make is that it's fine. You have a platform. Now you want to do this in a position where you lead. Why? Very simple. If you do the number one or number two, you have 30, 40% market share. A platform is an expensive thing to develop. It's not only the silicon, there's also a lot of software. There's a lot of system level knowledge and expertise you need to have. And by the way, so one of the, one of the great benefits from CSR is, is the wonderful facility we opened today here in Bangalore, is that that's exactly the skills that we have grown here and that we hope to continue to grow. So if you have 30 or 40 percent market check, clearly you're selling a lot more chip of those expenses chips than if you have 10 percent market share. So it's important that you say, look, I'm having making these investments in platforms. But I'm doing it in in a market where I can actually lead, where I lead, or where I have a reasonable chance of becoming number one or number two. And you need to be very tough for yourself. It's easy to fool yourself and say, "Oh yeah, we'll get there." Now, you really get there in a reasonable amount of time, one or two years. And then the third one is, ideally, you do this in markets that grow. Obviously, if you have a differentiated platform, and you're leading the, the, the market, and the market grows, guess what? You're going to grow. And that will drive the profitability. You can, if you do these three things, you, can, you don't have to worry about profitability that much. The profitability is absolutely going to go up, I can guarantee it to you. You have high margin, high market share in a growing business, good things will happen. And this is a fundamental difference. This is, there's other, this is not the only strategy you can have. But if you're a medium sized company, note that on this slide, nowhere we talk about you have to be at the leading edge of the process now. 
On the contrary, nowhere on this slide it says you have to be in a market that can sustain uh, 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 four and a half billion dollars. So in the smartphone, on the contrary, you can deploy this in markets that are compared to, for instance, the smartphone market, niche, but in aggregate, actually very big and competitively less intense than the market for smartphones. But you need to be honest with yourself and say, I want platforms, I want leadership, and I want growth. And then you take care of the rest, and the profitability will follow. So I talked about this slide already. So this is the best example that I can give. And we have, we have others as well. In voice and music, As you can see this is a block diagram of that silicon. The connectivity is just one of the five elements we bring to bear. There is application software, there is the user interface, there is processing and memory, there is a whole range of audio expertise, audio codecs, echo and noise cancellation, all sorts of things under the hood that you really don't think about, but if you put that headset on or you listen to that wireless soundbar, you say, wow, how, how did that happen? Well, if you can make that happen, then you can get 55 to 60% gross margin, a 70% market share as we do in a market that's growing with 30% per year. That's good business. And by the way, the note we're on here is nowhere near the leading edge because you don't need to. We have, in fact, we have uh, um, zoomed in, so with, with, you know, religiously ticking these three boxes, there are five areas where we focus on. I won't belabor this too much. It's voice and music. I talked about it already. Um, automotive infotainment information and entertainment where we bring to bear connectivity um, location our, our imaging technology that we have in things like hands-free calling streaming video to the back seat you, you probably saw a demo here earlier in car uh, obviously GPS for navigation, etc. We're very strong in imaging, both digital still cameras and printers, and we're investing in Bluetooth Smart, and we're investing in deep indoor location. And I'm more than happy after the, the panel discussion, if you're interested in that, to tell you a little bit more about why we feel that it is such a great platform play and why we feel it's such a big growth opportunity. But these are the five areas where you'll see us in. Anything else? 